Ugandan Knuckles is taking over this comment section. Do they know the way? Hello everyone, it's Cleo here, and today I'm answering a whole load, probably hundreds, no it is hundreds of questions. I, am, I put a video out not so long ago asking for crazy questions, and let's hope you guys have delivered with lots of bananas questions to answer. So here we go, let's try the first one here on the phone. Okay, can you name as many ponies as you can as a challenge? You see, I can remember every name of every pony in my collection, so it would go on forever. I can, I promise I can name every single one. I've got an excellent memory for toy names. Okay, Zoe Garcia asks, do you often get made fun of because of what you like? No, I don't. I think if you're confident about what you like, you generally won't get made fun of so much, but if somebody did, because they must have done it in my comments at some point, I can't remember who's made fun of it or any names, but I don't care. I really don't care because it's innocent, it doesn't hurt anybody. If somebody doesn't like what I like, that's okay, but if they want to make fun of you, you can just ignore it. That's what I do. I know it's difficult sometimes, but that's what I do. Just ignore it. Daisy Flower asks, if you could be a potato for a day, what would you do? I would try to avoid getting turned into a bag of crisps. That's what I would do. That's what happens to a lot of potatoes. Top Josh asks, do you know any cars like Ferrari, Lamborghini, etc? If so, which car do you like most? Yes, of course I know what Ferrari and Lamborghini are. And I don't really care for any particular cars. I'm not really interested in cars at all. But I do know what they are. Thank you very much. He also asks, have you heard of YouTube poop? Unfortunately, yes. Nerdy Nom Nom asks, choose all of your body fluids can heal people or live in a world where the Star Wars Disney films were incredibly good instead of sucking. Well, the first one's a little bit disgusting, Loki, really. Um, and the second one is kind of pointless, isn't it? Because if you don't like a film, you could just not watch it. Um, I feel like one, the bodily fluids one, because you could just lick your own wounds clean then, couldn't you? That'd be more useful than films being good. But on the other hand, those films make a lot more people happy than magic saliva, if they could make them good. I know some people already think they are, but of course Lockie and I personally don't like the new Star Wars films. Not that I'm a big Star Wars fan, so really I'm going to have to go with the first one, but the second one is a tough choice. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry I made that comment. <laughs> yeah, you are an idiot. Starry Skies 1312 asks, Do you like unicorns? No, I don't like unicorns. I have a pony channel for no reason. Of course I like unicorns. <laughs> LPS Princess 12345 asks, Are you doing part eight of the MLP Nutcracker? I am. I haven't finished writing it yet, but don't you worry. It is coming and it's going to be the last part. I just need to finish writing, I've got a plot outline together, and I've just got to finish making the script happen. MLP Night Song asks, Do you like e pizza? Yes, I like e pizza. She also asked, Would you rather be rich or happy? I'd rather be happy, because if you're rich and not happy, you can't enjoy it, can you? What's the point? Sweetie XD asks, What is your real name? You know, it amazes me the number of people who don't know my name. I say it at the beginning of almost every single video. I put it in literally every description of every video I've ever made. It's in my about section, it's on my Instagram profile. It's everywhere, my name is Cleo, that's my real name. Believe it or not, and it's not Chloe. Believe it or not. Wonderwolf5450 asks, if you could only have one of your MLP, not including your mascot, which one would it be? Probably Starswell, because I think she's worth the most money. Because I don't do everything else, I don't, want, I don't want to buy everything back, you see. So I might as well have the most valuable one so I don't have to spend that money again. I guess I would do that. If I lost all my ponies, I'd just have to go and buy them all again, every single one of them. I'm that crazy. LP Strawberry asks, If you were to switch bodies with Pinkie Pie and live in Equestria for a day, what would you do and why I'd vlog the whole thing so you guys could see it on YouTube? Neha Karim asks, What is your least favourite pony you have? Oh. Well, I'm going to say least interesting, because I wouldn't have it if I didn't like it. Well, apart from some that I bought for review purposes only, but out of the proper collection I have on my shelves, I'd say... probably Twinkle Shine, because she's just pink with a pink mane, and that's like Pinkie Pie, but I don't like her as much, so I think she's the most ordinary looking to me. CC Choco World asks, Do you want to make an LPS series? I do! I have a very special plan. When I've finished the Nutcracker, which will happen soon, by the way, probably in February at some point, I will be starting production or writing a new Littlest Pet Shop series. And don't worry all you pony fans, I'll be making My Little Pony stop motion skits after I finish the Nutcracker because the series has, actually hasn't been that popular. I think the skits were more popular, so I'll go back to making those for now and I'll make a Littlest Pet Shop series for the first time. Diamond Armor Candy Lover asks, how many fidget spinners do you have? Now let's just think I have 
The two metal ones I was sent for a review. I think the red one is technically mine, and I have the first one I bought for review, so that's four fidget spinners, and I don't even like them. Lucy Playo, I don't know how you're supposed to say that, says, can you do an American accent? Well, I like to think so, given how many I do in my videos. I mean, I like to at least pretend to myself that I can do a decent job, but you American fans of mine can tell me if I can do an okay job. I've got tons of videos, there should be one in the corner right now, where you can put it to the test and tell me if I'm doing an all right job. Constructive criticism only, please. Pony Sparkle Toy asks, what is your birthstone? Well, I think it varies which one you look at because there are some horoscope stones and there are ones by the month. But I think if you go by the month stones, typically I would either be an amethyst or an aquamarine. I think usually it would be aquamarine because my birthday is March. Celia MMWLL asks, can you make a reaction of the MLP movie, please? You know, I might do a review of it when I get the DVD of it because I think it comes out next month. At the, at the time of recording it comes out next month, it comes out in February, I don't know when this video will be out. So hopefully I'll get it on DVD when it comes out and I'll be able to make some kind of video about it, I'm not sure. I think several people asked this, but Holly Huffle- I can't even say it. Holly Hufflepuff, I can't say the stupid thing, <laughs> asks, Do you watch anime? And no, I don't watch any anime. I used to- <clears throat> I used to watch the Pokemon anime when I was about- between the ages of three and ten, but I've never really got into anime. I don't know much about any of them. I know the names of some popular ones, but they're not really interesting to me. MLP Videos asks, have you ever kissed someone? No, I haven't. I know it might seem surprising, because a lot of people also ask how old I am. I'm 20 years old, but nope. Never found anybody worthy. That's it. Not because nobody ever wanted to kiss me, because they have. Trust me, they have. I just haven't found anybody who's worth kissing. Uh, Helena Hart asks, what apps do you use? I use Instagram, the YouTube app, I use a screenshot app because my phone is so garbage it can't take screenshots on its own. Um, I have a Tumblr app I don't really use. And uh, I have a photo editing app, Instasquare I think it's called. Yeah, beyond that I just have the regular um, apps you get with Android. Nothing special, I don't really use my phone for very much. Lowry the Gamer asks, If Hasbro put your OC into my little pony friendship is magic, how would you react? I'd say, did they give me credit? Artista the Philly asks, why are you so pretty? Oh, thank you very much. I, I, I don't really do anything, it's just, if you think that, it's just good genes. She also, has, she also asks, do you like Michael Jackson's music? Yes, I do. Okay, Sugary Sweet LPS asks, here is a few would you rather questions. Say, would you rather give away your whole LP and LPS collection or quit YouTube? I'd rather just give away my collection because this is my job now. So if I quit, I wouldn't have any money to buy. It. I'd have money to buy it back if I had YouTube. But if I quit YouTube, then I'd just have a collection that would be completely redundant because I wouldn't get to do anything with it. So yeah, definitely give the collection away and buy it back. But I'm not giving it away. I gotta keep it and make videos with them. Would you rather eat a leech or 20 maggots? That's disgusting. Do I have to answer that? Answer it. Um, a leech, because I've seen maggots before and there's nothing more disgusting than a maggot. Maggots are the most disgusting things ever. Oh. Would you rather be a unicorn or a potato? There is no contest. A potato. Rose Pearl Productions asks, are you actually crazy? Yes, dear, unfortunately so. The Doll Universe asks, do you watch Tangled the series? If you do, who's your favorite character? I didn't like that, you know, I watched the first episode for it and I quite liked the song they had for it, but I feel that Rapunzel's like a different person in this series. I don't think she's like how she was in the film, because Tangled's one of my favourite Disney films. So I thought, oh, this cartoon's gonna be really good, they've got the original actors back. But it's, it's like Rapunzel's a different person. She disappoints me in it. I know she has to go on some kind of adventures, but I don't think she's like herself. Even her voice sounds different, it's the same actress, but she sounds different, and I don't like the series. Crimson Stratosphere asks, favourite Lego stop motion video? Um, oh, well, personally I've, I've liked watching different Lego stop motions because I think they're really clever a lot of them, but my favourites are the ones my brother no, Nom Nom makes and I will leave the, um, my favourite, I can't decide right now, in the corner of the screen right now so you can click on that. He or she also asks, favourite video game console? PS2, 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 it's the best one ever, you can't beat it, it's the one I had when I was a little girl and it's my favourite. We've got um, a Nintendo, what is it, Wii U now? I have that for a while, but it doesn't compete with the PlayStation 2. It's never as much fun. Nothing's as good as PlayStation 2 was. Now, I've been asked this several times, and Lolly Dash is the first one here to say it. Do you know the way? You do not know the way. 
You do not know the way. If you cannot find the way, you will be exterminated from the way. King Assemble asks, do you ship Fluttercourt? I'm a Fluttercourt fanatic. You know, I never thought I'd say this before. I thought, oh no, why is this such a weird ship? Why does anybody ship Fluttercourt? And then there was an episode where he's preparing his house, making it all normal for it. I thought, oh my gosh, that is such a cute little ship. They, 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 all, they hug each other, it's so cute. And I don't really care if it's romantic or not, but I do love the way the, friend, the friendship is in the show. So I, I don't really, I don't want somebody saying, oh, they must get married and have ten children. I don't think that. But I, I'm not against the ship anymore. LPS Loki asks, can you do another art raffle like you did at Halloween? I've got another art contest coming up, this time for My Little Pony, and it's for Valentine's Day. I don't know if that'll be up before this video, but if it is, it'll be in the corner. If it's not, then you can look forward to it. LPS Loki also asks, can you do a room tour? I said I will do it at 50,000 subscribers, which is getting really close now, because we're at over 30,000, so we're edging closer and closer. Cheyenne Saunders asks, after you're done filming the Nutcracker, can you style your cadence the show accurate way? And I'm not trying to sound mean. Well, no, I'm gonna style the way I want to, Cheyenne, and there's nothing you can do about it. Dashy Awesome asks, would you rather have five brothers or be an only child? Well, I already have three brothers, so I don't even know if I'd notice the difference with the other two. So let's say five brothers. Now, I think some other people have asked this question, strangely enough, as well, but Irene Blossom was the first to ask, do you sing in the shower? No, I don't. I'd be much too embarrassed even if I wanted to. LPS Magic Star asks, can you do a dare series? You know, I might do that, it could be quite fun. I don't know if I want to make a whole series out of it, but maybe I'll make a special where you can dare my ponies or little pet shop characters. That could be fun, couldn't it? Playful Puppy asks, any voice acting tricks? I think always practice on making distinct voices if you can, make your voices as different as possible. And I think always act like it's real, don't just say the line. Rehearse it in your head and say it how you think a real person might say it. How the character feels, you've always got to remember that, that's important. LPS Sunshine asks, would you rather give away all your LP to be rich, or give up all your LPS and get a five year free McDonald's pass? I give up all my LP and be rich, because then I could just buy them back, and I don't even like McDonald's food, so this is really a no brainer. Diana Vonderau asks, how do your parents feel about MLP? I don't think they have any strong feelings about it, they know that I like it and they're cool with that. MLP Brony Products asks, what are your feelings on Scootaloo being called a chicken? Well, she's a chicken. Midnight Rarity asks, quick, name nine things that begin with the letter Q. Uh, Queen, Quilt, Quince, uh, uh, this is a lot harder than you first think it is. Uh, uh. Can I help? No, no, I'm thinking. Okay. Because I've got one. Oh, one's not going to save us, we've got to think of nine, I've only thought of three. Uh, I don't know. I honestly can't think of any more than three, that's pathetic. There's got to be more than three. Can you, you say yours? Quail. Oh, there's a quail. Uh, so we're up to four there. Um, there. There must be so many things we're not thinking of. I'll just cut to a screenshot now of all the words in the dictionary beginning with the letter Q and how pathetic the two of us are. Hashtag SuperSparks asks, do you have the cheese? And Lockie will know what I'm talking about when I say C-3PO has it. <laughs> Heavenly Bunny asks, have you ever wanted to kill your brother? Lol, just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding when I say every single day of his life. Yeah, but which one? I think they only know about you. Oh, damn. Puppet Sunshine asks, please, can you do my LPS videos? Yeah, well, as I said, I'm going to do a little pet shop series, which isn't going to take away from the pony videos before anybody freaks out. It's not becoming an LPS channel. It's a toy channel, mostly my other pony, this. Just to get rid of any confusion. But yes, I'm going to make more little pet shop videos. I'm going to make more videos in general. Heather Ramsdale asks, what are the, some of the strangest comments you've ever read? You should see my hate comments video if you want to see some of the strangest I've ever read. Killer Queen B21 asks, what's the most annoying thing about being on YouTube? Some of the comments I get. Oh, they're so annoying. Sometimes I get a lot of comments on the old versus new little pet shop videos, and some of those are the most annoying comments I've ever had. I wish I'd never asked for any people's opinions. Oh. You know they would give them anyway. Mm. What's the best thing about being on YouTube, she also asks. Everybody who comments nice things. Those, that's the best part, yeah. Little Izzy MLP Crazy asks, what would you say are the weirdest things you've done in your channel? Um, well, it's a pretty weird channel when you think about it. The whole thing is pretty strange, but 
maybe one of the fidget spinner videos, maybe they're right up there for being weird. It might very well be that. And there's some of the latest unboxing videos I've done which have been pretty bonkers, like the Rarities Boutique unboxing and the Baby Sea Pony videos I've done, they're pretty weird as well, so it's really debatable. Tunafish LPS asks, have you ever accidentally destroyed a pony in the past? No, I haven't, because I've always been very careful with my toys, even as a child. I had little ponies, the Generation 2 ones, when I must have been about two or three years old, and all of them survived in pretty excellent condition. That's how good care I take of my toys. Old Oz asks, if you could only keep one LPS from your collection, which one would you choose? Um, I think it would have to be my very favourite one, which is Alabaster Scott's Fold. It's a little white new one with the huge eyes and little ears that flop over. She's my favourite. Old Oz also asks, if you could create a new type of LPS, what would you make? Um, I haven't really thought about that before. A wombat would be cute, wouldn't it? I bet a little pet shot of wombat would be adorable. I don't think they've made one of those before. Perlavi11 asks, well, I have a lot of questions, and I think she's lived up to the crazy hip of the way, because these are seriously random. Love you, Pearl Harvey. Do you think Thor is handsome? To a degree, he's not particularly my type, though. I think you mean the actor, because the comic characters, they don't do much for me. What do you think about the Big Mac and Twilight couple? I don't ship it. I'm sorry, girl. It's just too random for me. I like your photographs on Instagram, but it's just too random. If you could be a da random dancing carrot, what would you say to your family? I'd say, you know, only you see on I'm a banana, I'm a banana, well I'd say, I'm a carrot, I'm a carrot. LP Rainbow asks, if you saw poor children begging for some toys in front of your house, would you give them some? Uh, well, you know, I don't usually give anything to beggars because I don't think that solves any problems myself. But as I have so many spare toys I don't have space for, maybe I would. Fluttershy Fan asks, what do you think of the horoscope slash zodiac? And you probably won't believe me when I say this, but I study it extensively. Massive interest in it, big nerd and the academic side of it. She also asked, did you watch Sonic X growing up? Heck yeah, I did! I really loved that cartoon. I never got to see the third season though, I don't know why. I think it was the third season. Yeah. Yeah, third season where they went to space to battle tree aliens. See, I never got to see that. The, I think it must have been eight years old at the time, the eight year old of me really shipped Sonic and I never got to see it happen because apparently it did happen in the third season, at least to a little degree. I never got to see it. Apparently the French and Japanese edits of the show had way more Son Amy in them anyway. So there you go, whatever. my eight-year-old shipping heart never got to see it happen, so boo. Yuliana KS says, don't worry, you're also my biggest fan too, LP Fever. I don't know if I am. Nightmare Rara asks, do you, are you a Red Dwarf fan? You mentioned shiny armor looking like Crichton, and I made me wonder if you're a fan like me. Yes, I am. I love Red Dwarf. It's hilarious. I've watched most of the episodes. Solar Wishes says, do you ever think what the point of life is? I think, yes, I, I have. I do think about that. And I think the point of life is doing the right thing and learning. You gotta try your best and always keep on learning. Never close your mind. Always be open to new possibilities and new experiences. That's the way forward. The meaning of life with Cleo. Yeah, worded very badly. I'm getting tired and tongue-tied. Gwyneth Wilson asks, are you introverted or extroverted? Now this might be quite hard to believe for people watching my channel, but I really have quite introverted tendencies. I put my most extroverted foot forward for the channel because if it wouldn't make much sense as a YouTube channel not to make it seem more extroverted, but I'm not really. I, I don't get much out of being around other people. Much. I like being in my own company and reading over going out places. And that's quite introverted. <laughs> I know it's very fashionable to say you're introverted, but I pretty much am. What was your first tooth that fell out? Asks Apple Gabby. I think it was this one or this one, one of my front teeth. And it had to be pulled out by the dentist because I think it was going bad and needed to be pulled out. I got a sticker. LP Love for Life asks, do you ever look at bigger YouTubers and think, I wonder if we live near? Well, no, not usually because most YouTubers seem to be American and then you know, you pretty much know they're not going to live around you in England. Starswell LPX asks, how many different countries have you been to? Um, I think I've been to, uh, I live in England, I've been to Scotland if that counts. Belgium as a baby, France and Spain, and I think that's it. But this year I'm going to five more countries, maybe it might, it might be even more, because we're going all the way down to Italy. And we're driving through, um, I'm not even sure what we're driving through, I can't remember the route we're going through, we're going through lots of different places, and I'm going to try and film plenty of it, so I'm very, very excited. Wolfie99 asks, where do you live? Somewhere you'll never find me, Wolfie. XX Cindy Cake XX asks, who inspired you to be an LPS tuber? Probably Alice LPS. Selena Ponychow asks, do you have any toys slash toys you've held on, held on to and still love today from your childhood? 
I have most of my childhood toys. My room was full of childhood plushies and ponies and lots of children's things. In fact, my room is 95% toys. <laughs> Sugar Stars TV asks, can you balance a pony on your nose? And there's only one way to find out, isn't there? I'll get the pony. Is this right behind? Which one? Doesn't matter. Oh. Okay. Oh, Percy Pink. Percy there. Pink. Let's see and if we can do it. Headband came off. Okay, here we go. Oh, my nose is too small. It can't do it. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. Ah! I did for a few seconds. I bet I could do it. Your nose know, is bigger than mine. Oh, dang it. Now I'm not replacing the comments. Yeah, okay, you can do it because your nose is bigger than mine. Mine's oh, oh, You're balancing oh, the bridge oh, of your nose. I was trying to do it on my actual nose. Okay, then. I'll do that. It doesn't matter, go away. Okay, Sugar Stars TV also asks, can you say pickle 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 ten times in a row without messing up? What, say it thirty times? Okay, pickle 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 I didn't mess up. Fluttershy LP asks, why do you like pink and green so much? Well, why does anybody like any colour? They just do. She also asks, why did you stop making as much stop motion videos as before? Well, if you can see my stop motion videos from before, you can see that they didn't take me very much time, and now that I've upped the quality, it takes me a lot longer. And that's really the short answer. Beatrice Montenu asks, would you rather eat frog legs or dance to Despacito your whole life? Eat frog legs. Have you ever heard Despacito? Lol. MLP2B Forever asks, if you were a writer of MLP through all the seasons, which episode would you change a bit before it got to produced? Um, that episode where there's Discord, Twilight doesn't know something's going on with Discord and all the ponies are suddenly friends with them. That is definitively for me the worst episode of the show ever. It's so bad and annoying and not funny. I really, really don't like that episode and I can't remember the name of it, but I'll have it on screen right now. I changed that one, that should never have been made. Sanju asks, what's your favourite Disney movie? Um, I think Princess and the Frog is my favourite one. I really like Tangled 2 and some of the very old ones, but that's my favourite one. Photos never asks, what's the dumbest thing you've said this week? Probably something in this video, let's be honest. Rainbow Sparkle asks, what pony has the hardest hair to style? Well, you mean the hairstyle I've devised, or just because of the horrible quality of some of the hair? I'm going to assume you mean the styles I've devised, and that would have to be Rarity. Her hair is so difficult to get right. My god, it, it, I can never get it at the angle I want, it's always a bit wrong. I've only ever got it right once. Okay, last but not least, Heavenly Bunny asks, what's your favourite meme? Um, there's so many good memes. Uh, uh, I'm gonna cut to a whole load of different memes in a minute. Go. Those are the best. Okay, so that is it for this q and I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question, it's just that I had over 200 comments and most of those had about five questions each. So if you can do the math on that one, that's quite a lot of questions. And there's no way I can answer every single one of them. I tried to answer the ones that are most popular. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you somehow made it to the very end of it, give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Bye for now. Okay.